This week we are checking out gait analysis, so we went up to base to race and Amphibian King inside of that and spoke to Damien McKeever about getting some new shoes. It's the most important thing with running. It's the only piece of kit that's really, really important because it's, it's on your feet. In terms of injury prevention, it's a massive kind of part of it. You know, in terms of preventing injury, shin splints, one of the most common ones, like a lot of that can be related to footwear. So if we get you into the right type of runner, you've less chance of getting kind of injured or anything like that. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a look at you running to see what way your foot works. With the gait analysis, we want to see whether your foot, which way it lands. So very simply, people will either pronate, which is to roll in a little bit like that. They'll stay nice and straight, which is in the neutral position, or they might supinate or land very much on the outside. What we do is we film you to see which way you're working, and then based on that, we try to get you into the right type of shoe. There's a few things come into effect. First of all, your own weight, where you're running as well. So if you're going to be running on the road, we'll look for a very different type of shoe. For somebody who's coming in, they're going to be running off-road most of the time. So it's not just what way your foot works. It's where you're running your own weight um, and obviously comfort comes into it quite a bit so we do like to bring down a couple of different shoes try them on see how they feel and it should feel really comfortable on your foot like that's one of the main things It's, it's funny actually, there's a lot of Irish people wouldn't be that aware of it. They have been around a lot longer, they've been around longer than ASICs and some brands that you might be more familiar with, making both boots for the soldiers during World War II. So, uh, yeah, good heritage. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, they're kind of Boston based, so they'll be a big kind of running brand in the States. We've had them in Ireland now for 10 years, and I think there's, there's a good few other shops now that started carrying them as well, but they would have but big kind of running back. I mean, you don't see them as leisure shoes, they're more. They, they do very actually, Yeah, they do do a leisure range now yeah. as well, but okay. like they are known for their kind of their, their technical runs. Funny enough, like uh, probably people don't really notice as much, but Dervil O'Rourke, one of our best athletes, okay. like she was sponsored by them for years, uh, okay, so she would have been yeah. doing when she came second in the, uh, the Europeans, like she was wearing Sacconis as well. So. Uh, they have been around a while, all right, it's just uh, wouldn't be as well known in Ireland. Yeah, every brand is different. New Balance use kind of, they call it fresh foam. It's their own kind of type of EVA that they use, their kind of their mm. cushioning system. So it's each brand feels slightly different. So the way we're going to lace this up is a little bit different to what you might be used to. You're going to lace it up as normal to there. And with all kind of technical running shoes, they'll all come with kind of, a, it's like a double hole punched at the top. So we're just going to go back into the hole like that to create a loop. Okay. And we're going to do it on the same on the other side. The reason you do this actually is it, you'll feel it as well. As opposed to having the pressure all down here, you'll feel it, it hugs the back of your heel a little bit better. So it stops it slipping or anything like that. So you'll often see people that have big wear marks on the inside of the runner at just at the heel point. If you try lacing up this way, it actually should give you a slightly more secure fit and prevent that from happening. So it's called a lock lace is the actual technical name for it. The fit is really, really good. Right, okay. Especially around here. Yeah. The, um, you know, there doesn't feel like there's any sort of seam inside Catching or stitching inside. Yeah. It's just, it's uh, very sock-like. Yeah. <clears throat> you see, they sell them a lot to triathletes and they'll go without socks. You know, yeah. the way they'll come out of the water, they'll, they'll just put them on so there's no seam up around them. No, it's a lovely fit and yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good looking shoe. Too. What's, what would you say is the average length of time someone should keep a pair of shoes? Uh, so it's more on distance than on time. Mm. So as a general kind of guideline, we say 500 to 800 kilometers. That varies greatly on the biggest determining factor is your own weight. So yeah. you can imagine how quick you're going to wear the pair of runners to take your example. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Half my age. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's just to do with the pain you know, you're coming down with three times your body weight every time you're running, so you're going to break into the cushion much quicker than gear is. New Balance, do they look well? I really like these New Balance. What's interesting is, having done the gait analysis, I would have made huge assumptions that I was some very wonky runner, that I would have run heavily on the outside of my foot or by the inside, and it turns out I'm actually neutral. So, um, the fact is, these shoes are quite minimal. They're not heavily cushioned. 
they're so comfortable that they, they, they fit exactly like a sock so um, I'm really excited to try them on a longer run um, but definitely very very pleased with these so lesson from today is get the gate analysis done um, and some of the technology here and how they do it is really really clever so um, yes I'm delighted with the shoes and um, we'll see how we get on in the next few weeks that's camera one feeling good you'll see the later land on the outside I know you said it was your left knee that can give you a bit of yeah. problem you just buy anything yeah. we only came here to get the gate analysis like people, I'm really